Hello, I'm Damien McGeehan and today I'm going to teach you John Walters polka.
Okay, so this is an idea of how you can put some cards into this tune. So just there you can play the G natural on the E string and the B on the A string with your first finger together it gives you a G chord. So you can put that in at the end of the run. So you could do either three of them or just one of them like this. another chord you can do and it's a D on the A string with your third finger and an F on the D string with your second finger so what you get is so that's a few chordal ideas for you for the first part so here are some chords for the first part of John Walker's polka So this is a G chord and it's the G natural note on the E string and the B note on the A string. So you can use this a few different ways. You could do the chord three times or it's nice as well just to do it once. Now another card for that part would be this card here which is D on the A string and F sharp on the D string so you get Now I'm going to show you how to do a run when, uh, th this works very well when you're repeating the first part so I'll just play it for you first so you can hear it. Okay so that was the run that wee bit there. And basically what you're doing is playing D, E, F and G on the D string in one bow. And playing the open G string along with it so you get. Just like that. So that's a nice wee variation when you're repeating the first part. There's a nice run you can do when repeating the first part of the tune. And I'll just play it for you so you can hear what it sounds like. So that was the run and it is basically D, E, F sharp and G on the D string in one bow And if you play the open G string with it, you get that kind of a run, so. So. 